I also read somewhere that um, one of you saying that we, you're not the same duo who played Tokyo. What's changed from that point? Um, and what's the reason why you would say that you're different now? Well, I think, um, um, yeah, I think uh, our approach is a lot different. Um, as compared to Tokyo, I think we've become a lot more, um, I think, uh, obviously, we've become a lot better on court. But also, I think um, we've become a lot more consistent um, in our performances. And uh, we uh, we sort of know um, what works for us and what doesn't. Um, I think uh, in re, uh, in uh, Tokyo, we were, um, like, it was our first Olympic Games. And it was the biggest stage. And, uh, like, although we played really, really well, uh, but we were quite unfortunate to go out the way we did. But uh, I think we've definitely evolved as uh, Batman players in the past uh, two years. Uh, how much of the evolution that you would say, you know, Satvik and Chiraj, Chiraj, if I could get both of you to respond to this, how much of the evolution would you attribute to someone like Matthias and his contribution or his relationship with you? Just tell us a bit about how that's assisted you or what's been the biggest learning curve from that relationship. I think after after Matthias came, uh, we became more professional as athlete. Okay. I mean, uh, he he taught us uh, how to become more professional. As in, like your thing is very simple. Like you just need to go eat well, sleep well, uh -huh. then give hundred percent. That very simple thing he told yeah. us. But it's really difficult in these days to do that. Like. To sleep sleep at ten o'clock that's very difficult thing to eat well that's very difficult thing uh, I mean for us that became like more professional once we uh, traveling with him once he got to share all these things he played at highest level then we followed his path and be disciplined like every time if you are late for ten seconds also he will scold us like be on time eight thirty means eight twenty nine everyone has to report so all those small things have become like we become so professional and things have fallen in place. So we, we come on time, we leave on time. Wow. Then Chir that, that has helped. And uh, the way he planned things, the on-court things, tournament things, the travel things, it became much, much easier and makes more sense for us. I mean, how much time we are wasting just sitting in the car or sitting at the airport for three hours before we are going to the airport and wasting like two hours there. Like all these minor things, when you have 11 o'clock flight, do practice at 7 o'clock and leave to the airport directly. So okay. all these small, small things has uh, made us like more professional and made us, I mean, I, without him, we wouldn't be here after 2021 Olympics. Uh, we were really disappointed. But once he, he got back and he has some that fire as well. So when we are on court, we are three people, like three souls and two bodies. He also plays with us all the time. So, yeah, he's, he's second big, big brother for us. When Sirag is, like, we, when we, we both are not in sync, then we'll ask him to play with us. <laughs> nice. So, he becomes the bit of a deal breaker between both of you, if it comes to that. But, Chirag, anything to add on to that? Um, well, yeah, obviously, I think uh, what Satvik said, I think, uh, um, pretty much sums up um, our relationship with Matthias. Um, I think... Uh, in the past two years, like he said, uh, we've um, become a lot more consistent. Um, our approach towards the game um, has changed quite a bit. Like uh, we've become a lot more professional and uh, it doesn't matter uh, how many hours you put in, but how, how good you are in those hours uh, is what truly matters. It doesn't matter if you're training eight hours or ten hours, but the quality in those eight hours or ten hours uh, uh, will decide how you play on court. So, although our sessions have shortened a bit under him, but I think uh, we've uh, uh, our sessions with him are a lot more tiring than we used to have before. Like, uh, the sessions would be two hours long, but we hardly get any break in those two hours. So, it's not about the quantity uh, with him, but it's more about quality training. And uh, I think that's one of the things major uh, changes that we've, that we've had over the past two years. Just a few questions before we let you go, of course. Um, one very imp important point, of course, that we want, you, we want to hear from you is 
you know, we, we hear so much about how so many other doubles pairs are really viewing you as a threat. You are one of the best doubles pairs in the world. That goes without saying. Um, What's the banter like on the circuit, Satwik and Chirag? Um, and, uh, you know, what, what, what is the sort of chatter, if at all you know of, from the other doubles uh, pairs in the world? And is there someone who you love going up against in particular? Uh, Satwik, if you can start, and then, of course, Chirag would, will come in. Like, as you said, like, people are really scared to play against us because we keep on attacking our game style is attack. And uh, I think in present circuit, everyone is at the same level. One sure, like you, you are playing first round or final, the same level will be there. So it depends on the day, how good you are, how hungry you are to the win. And I think uh, playing with Indonesians is always fun. Mm. Uh, it always gives you some some challenging and Chinese as well. They keep on poking you all the time. They keep on playing with speed and fast, uh, agile, they are attack, defense. They have all kind of these things. So playing against them will be like always challenging. Uh, playing playing with Europeans is kind of lately irritating. They play with mind game. They yeah. poke you like uh, they don't play like more like they play they get into your head and we play mind games when you're playing. So. Yeah, playing with everyone is uh, quite challenging. As I said, like everyone is equally, even if you're top 20 or 25 on the given day, you can beat everyone. So, yeah, I think, yeah, playing with all, like mostly I prefer, I love playing against Indonesians and Chinese. Chirag, what about you? What battles have you enjoyed the most? Um, Obviously, um, uh, like, uh, I think uh, in the past year, we've been able to, uh, beat the ones who we hadn't uh, before. I think uh, the Malaysians, especially the ones who we had uh, lost to eight times before, I think to beat them twice last year, I think uh, was definitely a, um, a big tick for us. I think uh, we really wanted to convert that uh, win. So I, uh, I think um, apart from them, I think like Satvik said, it's uh, right now uh, the men's doubles. Um, Circuit is pretty much wide open. Anybody is um, like anybody can beat anybody on a given day. So it's uh, the competition is extremely high. I would say at this point, and uh, um, I think um, yeah. But uh, there's there's not a single pair I would uh, uh, like pick where I could say that I really enjoy playing against them. Um, but yeah, I think it's it's like I said, it's it's quite an open competition right now. Okay, quick questions to sort of wrap this up. Um, I know you guys have given us a lot of time, so very, very quick questions, and you guys can tell me. So it's going to be who, I'm going to ask who among you both are this, and you both need to answer, both can answer, and tell me why. Who's the calmer of the two? Satish. Yeah, I think we would have arrived at this point quite uh, yeah. predictably, <laughs> yes. Who's more competitive? Um, is it, is it going to be Chirag? No, come on. I think both of you are, no? Competitive, yeah. Slightly Chirag, maybe. Huh. I mean, slightly, I mean, 60-40. How, so yeah. how much does Chirag, I want to ask Satwik, Satwik this, how much of the game does Chirag carry after it's done? Is, is it, does he talk a lot about it, especially if it's not mm, gone your no. way? No, 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 nothing. Okay. They both don't talk much. Like, we'll go and we'll, next time we'll see, we'll pick it up again. Okay. Yeah. Who's the more punctual? <laughs> oh, come on, you got to be honest. I, I think 60% me, 40% Chira. No, I oh, think 50-50. 50-50, yeah. Patrick. He's always on time. Maybe, like, if session is at 8.30, I will be at 8.28, he will be at 8.29. Hmm. But both are will be on time. Good save, yeah. but Chirag will see you after this interview. Um, yeah. Who has the stronger will when it comes to following a diet, following your schedule, your training and such? Chirag. Mm. Yeah. You have a sweet, do you have any, uh, any, any weakness when it comes to the food, uh, Satwik, anything that you particularly like to... That's why I said Chirag. I don't follow diet. <laughs> Chirag follows like... Pretty professional. I'm not so professional in that. 
we'll get there. Maybe 2024 is the year for that. Uh, could be your resolution. But uh, when you guys have a bit of an argument or a tiff, of course you're married, it's bound to happen. Uh, who's the one who says sorry first or tries to mend or extend the olive branch first? We didn't Not get into that situation that, yeah. yet. Yeah, yeah. Serious. Seriously, we haven't. Okay. All right. Interesting. Nice. Uh, last one, guys, to round it up. 2024. What's the big game? Is it obvious? But you know, it'll be nice to hear it from you. Do well in the big event. You can say Paris Olympics. I don't it. think it's a jinxed word, guys. We don't want to say that, but yeah, we we. It's there in our mind. We wanted to do more than 100% than the last time. We want to give like 200%, leave everything there, whatever it requires. Then we'll see what will happen. Any any final words uh, from you, Chirag, before we wind up and say bye? Um, well, yeah, I think it's similar. I think uh, everybody wants to. It's not just us. Every athlete uh, wants to do well at the Olympics and uh, it's the ultimate goal. Uh, but uh, apart from that, we also want to win medals uh, in the tournaments we've not medaled at this year. And uh, yeah, be as consistent as we can and be injury free. Yes, like you said, stay injury free and, uh, and, and hope for the best. I think that's the, that's the best yeah. takeaway and the best look forward that we can hope for for 2024. Really, really been fun speaking to both of you. I think it's been amazing. Uh, been very candid. A uh, bit of a pleasant surprise for me too. Thank you so much. It was, was amazing speaking to both of you and wishing the two of you all the very best.